uh, open the putty gen okay so in the putty key gen what you will do you will uh, like here just click on the generate okay then just simply uh, just move your cursor here in this blank area okay so here you can see it's just a uh, generate a ssh so what you will do you will just uh, save this as a public key okay and what it, what you will do you will just give the name of this and you can put here inside this d directory remember we put ssh key and give the name like uh, putty underscore key okay dot pub save it okay so now what you will do you will just um okay so now we will go to the conversions and then click on the uh, export uh, open ssh key yes and then uh, you have to save the public key here public key gave the name is put key okay now what you will do we will uh, like um you copy this public ssh key to the system you want, we want to actually connect so now what we can do we can just simply Mm. If I copy this and go to my git, go to the SSH here preferences SSH keys, paste it here uh this one let's see i'm not sure this one will work or not add key okay now if i go to that command prompt again and if i put here git push dash your origin main no okay so i think uh, i have to actually look for it because they updated uh the things they changed they are not uh doing anything for with the password anymore uh they are actually uh, working with the ssh so i have to actually find out the easy way this one is not working so before that what you guys can do uh you guys can just simply uh do the postman part okay in uh, all of your individual machine uh you can just create the campaign you can uh, uh, do the positive test cases you can do multiple ways you can do the negative test cases and for the all the requests for the gate all campaigns for the update campaigns for the delete campaigns okay and also you can do like uh you can add uh the validations for each and every api i just added into one but you need to do these validations in every request for all the positive negative all those requests you have okay so complete these hands on on the postman or uh, the git don't worry about the git we will do a lot of git into the java also and uh, i will also bring the solutions like how we can do or uh, connect with the git easily right now uh, it's uh, like due to their update we have to just do a little bit different way but complete the postman part because in the next week as we are going to start the java so you are, you will not get any chance to work on the postman anymore because in the java you will do oh, you will get familiar so many new things okay and you have to do a lot of practice in java so you will not get any chance so in this week try to complete all the postman part okay don't worry about the git we'll cover the git again we'll show how we can work on the git 
because in the java every workshop will work on the git okay so that's all from my side do you can have I ask any a question? question yes can you go back to your command prompt please yes okay so um on the first line you wrote git push dash u origin main so mm -hmm. what we did was we used to write like git push origin dash u main so is that correct ah uh, yeah no origin you, yeah. first dash of all you have u. to put the git push then dash u means the upstream then this is the origin name i i mean this is, this is the name we we give the url right and we put the name origin then second one we put the origin two right so this is how we can just put the origin two. Oh, oh i think it's worked wait 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 i think it's worked but if we do origin dash u main is it the same thing oh uh, no first of all you have to put the e dash u then origin that main but it, the it worked name. like uh, when junaid and farida did it work for them yeah then it's fine it's okay. it's not something like uh Oh, important so okay. let's go to the dashboard let's see i think it's worked mm, go to the pro groups ask you february 20 february 23 Yep, it's worked. So, anyways, okay. So, as I said, don't worry about the git. We will show again the git from the step by step. But yeah, it's worked. This is actually you have to uh, for the SSH. You have to connect with the SSH. Then once you connect to the SSH, then you can easily push, pull, clone, whatever you want to do. You can do easily. But um, I think uh, it's good here now. So uh, just focus on the postman part more and complete the things here. And yeah, this is it. So any question from anyone? Thank you so much for your long, long instruction. Really uh, appreciate it. You are welcome. Yep, uh, well, I will also appreciate if you are uh, all of you guys you can complete the postman part okay and once you complete you it will it will be easier for you it's not actually much complex oh okay. i have a question about response time it yes, go says on. 1500 milliseconds so does like does that mean uh, it, it actually to, yeah it actually depends on uh, milliseconds to give the response does that mean Sorry, sorry. Uh, can you repeat again? So, so uh, in the response body, we have 950 milliseconds, mm -hmm. but we are validating with 1500 milliseconds. Oh, no, no. You, we are validating less than 1500 milliseconds. So, 900, 950 is less than 1500, right? So, before 950 was before 300 something. So, how do we Yeah, know? so if it is less than 1500, it will give you the uh path but if it goes uh like this response time is goes more than 1500 then it will give you the fail yeah but it was before 300 so how do i assume 300 to 1500 so oh you are asking me like uh it by default it's giving it's uh here the 300 but why we give the 1500 but how we know that we have to give the 1500 right yes Okay, so th this one is actually you will get this requirement from the like uh, your uh, senior or your uh, from or the developer or or also you can you may get this information from the product owner also like it varies it depends on project to project some server they may uh, like from here uh, like they may need some latency 
So for the latency, you may have to give the 2000 or 3000 millisecond. Some server is uh, is near with you or near to you so that for that you don't need to give much time there, you may get the response fast there. So it depends on actually you will get uh, information from your team members. I mean, from your from the product owners or from the from your leaders. Okay, they will tell you that. Okay, if we see 950 here, so we put a little higher than 950, and say less than this, right? Yeah. So I I will recommend that you guys can use the 1500 millisecond for uh for all of this request because most of the request is uh we are expecting less than 1500 millisecond. It should send the request from the server, right? It should send. Yes, the yeah. It, it, it's getting the response from the server. This is the response time. Between this, it's taking this, it should take less than 1500 millisecond time. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Anything else from anyone? Okay, I think no. Okay, then let me stop the recording. Uh, open the putty gen. Okay, so in the putty key gen, what you will do, you will uh, like here, just click on the generate. Okay, then just simply uh, just move your cursor here in this blank area. Okay, so here you can see it's just a uh, generate a SSH. So what you will do, you will just uh, save this as a public key. Okay, and what it, what you will do, you will just give the name of this, and you can put here inside this D directory. Remember, we put SSH key and give the name like uh, putty underscore key okay dot pub save it okay so now what you will do you will just um okay so now we will go to the conversions and then click on the uh, export uh, open SSH key. Yes. And then uh, you have to save the public key here. Public key gave the name is put key. Okay, now what you'll do, we will uh, like um, you copy this public SSH key to the system you want, we want to actually connect. So now what we can do, we can just simply um, if I copy this and go to my git, go to the SSH. Here preferences, SSH keys. Let's see it here. Uh, this one, let's see. I'm not sure this one will work or not. Add key. Okay. Now if I go to that command prompt again, and if I put here git push dash your origin main. No. Okay, so I think uh, I have to actually look for it because they updated uh, the things they changed. They are not uh, doing anything for with the password anymore. Uh, they are actually uh, working with the SSH. So I have to actually find out the easy way. This one is not working. So before that, what you guys can do? Uh, you guys can just simply 
uh, do the postman part. Okay, in uh, all of your individual machine, uh, you can just create the campaign. You can uh, uh, do the positive test cases. You can do multiple ways. You can do the negative test cases. And for the all the requests for the gate all campaigns, for the update campaigns, for the delete campaigns. Okay, and also you can do like uh, you can add uh, the validations for each and every API. I just added into one but you need to do these validations in every request for all the positive negative all those requests we have okay so complete these hands on on the postman or uh, the git don't worry about the git we will do a lot of git into the java also and uh, i will also bring the solutions like how we can do or uh, connect with the git easily right now uh, it's uh, like due to their update we have to just uh, do a little bit different way but complete the postman part because in the next week as we are going to start the java so you are, you will not get any chance to work on the postman anymore because in the java you will do oh, you will get familiar so many uh, new things okay and you have to do a lot of practice in java so you will not get any chance so in this week try to complete all the postman part okay don't worry about the git we'll cover the git again we'll show how we can work on the git because in the java every workshop will work on the git okay so that's all from my side do you can have I ask any a question? question yes can you go back to your command prompt please yes okay so um on the first line you wrote git push dash u origin main so mm -hmm. what we did was we used to write like git push origin dash u main so is that correct Ah, uh, yeah. No, Origin you, first of all, you have you. to put the git push, then dash u means the upstream, then this is the origin name. I, I mean, this is, this is the name. We, we give the URL, right? And we put the name origin. Then second one, we put the origin 2, right? So this is how we can just put the origin 2. Oh, I think it's worked. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's worked. But if we do origin dash u main, is it the same thing? Oh uh, no! First of all, you have to put the e dash u, then origin, that main. But it, the it worked name. like uh, when Junaid and Farida did it work for them. Yeah, then it's fine. It's okay. it's not something like uh, important. So okay. let's go to the dashboard. Let's see. I think it's worked. Mm, go to the pro groups. Ask you February twenty February twenty Yep, it's worked. So, anyways, okay. So, as I said, don't worry about the git. We will show again the git from the step by step. But yeah, it's worked. This is actually you have to uh, for the SSH. You have to connect with the SSH. Then once you connect with the SSH, then you can easily push, pull, clone, whatever you want to do. You can do easily. But um, I think uh, it's good here now. So uh, just focus on the postman part more and complete the things here. And yeah, this is it. So any question from anyone? Thank you so much for your long, long instruction. Really uh, appreciate it. You are welcome. Yep, uh, well, I will also appreciate if you are uh, all of you guys you can complete the postman part okay and once you complete you it will it will be easier for you it's not actually much complex oh okay. i have a question about response time it yes, says 1500 milliseconds so does like does that means uh, it, the it actually 
Yeah, it actually depends but on. Uh, minister has to give the response. Does that mean? Sorry, sorry. Uh, can you repeat again? So, so uh, the response body we have nine hundred fifty milliseconds, mm -hmm. but we are validating with fifteen hundred milliseconds. Oh no no, you, we are validating less than fifteen hundred millisecond. So nine hundred nine fifty is less than fifteen fifteen hundred, right? So before nine fifty was before three hundred something. So how do we yeah? Know so it? if it is less than fifteen hundred, it will give you the uh pass. But if it goes uh like this response time is goes more than fifteen hundred, then it will give you the fail. Yeah, but it was before three hundred. So how do I assume three hundred to fifteen hundred? So, oh, you are asking me like, yeah, uh, it by default it's giving it's uh, here the three hundred, but why are we give the fifteen hundred? But how we know that we have to give the fifteen hundred, right? Yes. Okay, so the, this one is actually you will get this requirement from the like uh, your uh, senior or your uh, from or the developer or or also you can you may get this information from the product owner also like. It varies. It depends on project to project. Some server they may uh, like from here, uh, like they may, may need some latency. So for the latency, you may have to give the two thousand or three thousand millisecond. Some server is uh, is near with you or near to you, so that for that you don't need to give much time there. You may get the response fast there. So it depends on actually you will get uh, information from your team members. I mean, from your from the product owners or from the from your leaders, okay? They will tell you that okay. If we see 950 here, so we put little higher than 950, and say less than this, right? Yeah. Or so no? I I will recommend that you guys can use the 1500 millisecond for uh for all of these requests because most of the request is uh we are expecting less than 1500 millisecond. It should send the request from the server, right? It should send. Yes, yeah. the it, it, it's getting the response from the server. This is the response time. Between this, it's taking this, it should take less than 1500 millisecond time. Okay, thank you. Okay, next, anything else from anyone? Okay, I think no. Okay, then let me stop the recording.